Today I'm going to show you how to use the Simple Cloth Studio Cut and Sewing Pattern Asset Library to create outfits like this one in just a few minutes. First, let me show you how to install the asset library. Extract your zip file. Then copy the file path or remember where it is. Go back into Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, File Paths. Then press the plus icon. Copy your file path. Just add the asset library. Now open the asset browser. Select the library. Now we can see all the assets that are included. In total, there are over 200 different clothing and accessory assets. Now let's start with making an outfit. First, you will need to give your character some collision. For that, go under Simulate, Add Collision. Now the thickness we can maybe change to 3. And now we can just choose the clothing that we want. Let's go into Woman Clothing, Medieval, and let's choose this dress. Just drag it into the scene. Press Alt and G to return it to the origin point. Then just roughly place it like so. Now you can see here we have this intersection. You could just move it in place. Or even better, go into the modifiers and just simply shrink and select the base mesh as a target. That way we get this nice shrink wrap effect. So you can see. Now we just have to position the sleeves. Turn on the mirror. And now we just have to modify one sleeve at a time. Just rotate them and position them like so. Now let's try out the positioning. Just press play. Alright, not looking too bad. But down here we can see that we can turn on self-collision. Just go under collision, self-collision. Now let's try again. Okay, already looking better. But we can see that we have this big gap on the shoulder. Let's just position the dress a little bit higher. Readjust the sleeves. And try again. Just press spacebar. Alright, much better. Just give it around like 60 to 100 frames to see what it looks like. That's looking pretty good. Now I don't want the sleeves to be open like this. You can see here in the picture they are kind of scrunched up. That's because they have a custom vertex shrink group. Here you can see what it does. Alright, that's looking very nice. Let me show you where we can find this group. Go on the extras. And there you see the shrink. Let's turn on weights. And here's the custom shrink group that this asset already comes with. Now we can also add our own. Just select some faces and press shrink. Now this part would scrunch up as well. But we don't want this, so let's remove that real quick. Again, just wait like 60, 60 frames or so, and then turn on the shrink. Okay, that's looking very good. Here you can see these gaps, but don't worry about those at all. We will fix them later. Now, if this is a little bit too low poly for you, 
we can also increase the resolution. Just go into viewport resolution, and the one one is more than enough. The simulation will be slower now, but you can see we get a lot more detail. Yeah, this gap on the shoulder is a little bit too big. Let's fix this one again. Reposition the dress a bit. And the sleeves. And simulate again. Here you can see it takes around 60 frames for the gravity to fully turn on. So always just wait around the 60 frames and then turn on things like shrink. And now things are looking very good. Now these caps are totally fine. This one as well. And everything's looking good. And now we can finish up the cloth. For that, go from simulate to finish. Finish and apply cloth. And just press OK. Now all the cloth modifiers are applied. And now we can work on closing these gaps. You can see we have these sewing lines left. We can just remove them under sewing. Just press remove sewing. And you can see they are gone. Now we have to close these gaps. For that you need to select two edges. And just press sew, close selection, and you can see now they are merged together. Let's do this for the other side. And the sleeve is now one whole object. And now we just have to repeat this process for all the seams that we want to connect. Here you can see we have 12 vertices selected. And now it's very important that we select 12 vertices on the other side as well. Here you can see 23, 24. Now we can close this gap. Now here again, we have 12 vertices, but now if we select 23 or 25 for example, you can see nothing will happen, because we need to select the exact same number of vertices on both sides. There we go. And now just repeat this process for all these themes. Just hold Alt and shift click another seam. Here it selects this loop, we don't want that. Let's just go into X-Ray and deselect all these. And now we can close this gap. Same thing on the other side. And now we can connect this hole and this leaf, because they have the same number of vertices. There we go. Same thing here. Just select all the seams that are colored red and connect them. Here it's a little bit harder to see which one we need to select. So just select this one, you can see we have 20 vertices, so now we need to select another 20 on this side. I have 41, now 40, I can connect them. And there we go, all the seams are closed, 
And now the dress is finished. Now we could fix up some things in sculpt mode maybe. Like smooth out some things if we want. With the smooth brush. Or just hold shift while using another brush. We could move things around with the elastic deform brush. Fix some things like this. We could add some more details with the different cloth brush presets. Add more wrinkles in detail. But for now this is good. But now we have one small problem. As you can see, the clothing is not bound to the character. And if you move the character around, the clothing is staying in place. We can fix that very fast. Just select the clothing, then the armature. Press Ctrl-P and with automatic weights. And there we go. The clothing is bound to the character. And now if we pause the armature, the clothing is moving as well. Now you can see it's not 100% perfect. For that we will have to do some manual weight painting, but that would be too much to show in this video, so I will leave some very good weight painting tutorials in the description below. Now automatic weights is more than enough for just pausing characters. We can just fix things like that in sculpt mode. Just use the elastic deform brush and move it so that it doesn't intersect with the character. This is looking pretty good. By the way, all the assets come with finished UVs. We can just take a look here. All the UVs are perfectly flat and ready to be textured. Now we could be done here, but I want to add some accessories. Let's go back to the asset browser and let's choose some shoes. We have a couple of shoes here. Let's just go with these. So we just have to place them to fit the character. Just move them around a bit. Here this part we can just fix in sculpt mode real quick. And there we go. Now we have a finished outfit. We can even add some more things. Maybe some jewelry. Also just place it. Okay, nice. Let's also add a bracelet. We can also add some heads or a handbag. Let's just make a hold it. And this is how you use the Simply Cloth Studio cut and sewing patterns. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or join the Discord and we will help you there.